The year is 1787. The U.S. Constitution is signed, and the bill that founded the Pittsburgh Academy is passed by the Pennsylvania Legislature. In persuading the legislature to act, Academy founder Hugh Henry Breckinridge writes, I should rejoice to see Pennsylvania at all times able to produce mathematicians, philosophers, historians, and statesmen equal to any. Breckinridge was a man of remarkable talents. An ambitious lawyer, an editor and publisher, he served as a chaplain in the field with Washington's army and is often cited as America's first novelist. As a member of the first Pennsylvania State Assembly, he worked to establish Allegheny as a new western county and Pittsburgh as a borough within it, an area still considered the edge of the frontier. Over the years, Brackenridge's vision for both the city and the academy moved to reality. In 1819, the academy was renamed Western University of Pennsylvania, making it a true college and assuring that young people would not have to travel several hundred miles to the east to receive an education, thus falling prey to all the moral dangers of living far from home in a strange city. In the following decades, multiple schools were established in the university. Engineering, pharmacy, economics, philosophy, dentistry, medicine, and law. This growth led to a name change and relocation. In 1908, the University of Pittsburgh moved to Oakland, enabling additional physical as well as academic growth. 